because we're getting 35, 40 mile an hour gust here. This is we're gonna start working on the cabin. We are going to lift the post up, set them on the ends of the deck. However, as you can see right now, it's very, very windy and the wind's supposed to slow down a little bit this afternoon. Until the wind slows down, we're gonna go over here and we got a couple of stumps that are, that they've been eyesores for a long time. Tanya wants them gone, so we're gonna get them gone. All right, so we got this cedar tree right here that, and we wanna get it out of the way. That stump is in the place where it's gonna stay. Uh, we're not going to mess with a the bank. These stumps over here, it really doesn't matter because all of this is getting dug out. Out. This is all going to be removed, leveled out even with the cabin. I'm going to go set in the side by side and hold the brakes. I got it at least close enough I can get to it with a tractor. That's a lot of tree dash. I'm pretty sure it would pull it if I kept at it, but it's gonna fill that ditch full. I don't think I can do it. It's pretty deep. Put my diff lock in. Get out here and get stuck for real. So no matter the wind has shifted on me and it's blowing it right in my face, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try doing it with this up. Uh, that's uh, a tulip poplar, so it's quite a bit softer. We can go quite a bit faster. So it's, this is a very difficult place to get a stump grinder of any kind, but because of where it's at, I don't need it all the way down. I just need it to be flat. This bank will continue on down this way. So as long as this stump's not sticking up, we're in good shape. All right, so we got these two uh, six by six is 12 foot long. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the old crane truck here. This is my 1970C50 crane truck. I think the crane was built in 1967. We got this thing running and we're still using it. We're gonna use this to lift those posts up in vertically into these mounts, but I still have to put these big long screws in that go into the post below it. So let's get that done and then we'll get to hanging the, hang the post. In game, we need the porch roof done. Then we can put metal on. So the other day we come out here and put these mounts directly over the post below it. We got these big 10 inch screws. Uh, they're outdoor like beam screws. Put two little nails in here to hold this into place and these screws the head's not big enough uh, so i went ahead and got some grade eight washers which will be perfect and what we're going to do is just run this thing straight down in that beam so that these posts will have a a good home we don't want them coming coming up or moving all right now we're in that post below it don't you see it pull the deck down Yeah, I see ya. They pull these boards down tight. All right, let's hope the crane truck starts up. Uh. All right, gotta get my chain. I think kind of safety picking up.
just about as good as it gets, huh? All right, so it's, it's in there. I'm gonna put a little pressure back up. We're gonna keep the crane tension on it because there was it's we had gusts today of 30, it's like 38 miles an hour gust today. That's like the perfect day to put it up as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> and put it right here. That I gotta get boards. Tell me when it looks. Hang on, I'm gonna go ahead and put one nail right here. Yeah, uh, this is kind of iffy. All right, that's good. What's iffy about it? Well, if I'm leaning it this way and uh, do it more. That's why we're putting the crane, leaving the crane on it so it's no danger. Yeah, it's so iffy. Good? Right there, perfect. Ah, you moved it. It's hard to push that safety thing. Okay, hang on. Okay, go. No, you push it to four. Okay, tell me. You gotta go back over here. Right there. It's harder than it looks. It's still good? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put it up here first. Right? So I ain't gotta worry about then I can, I can nail it at the bottom. I see you're going outside over there. Okay. But just hold it real quick so I can nail it. Ready? Yeah. Okay, now you, you get it. go this way. Tell me which way you want. A little bit more. Which way? Yeah? Just a little bit more. Too much, yeah. Too much. Too much. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Getting close. One more. Perfect. Okay. Now I got the crane off of it. I'm gonna go ahead and move the the crane truck over to this this location. That's right. Ooh. I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to get it to Can wiggle it the beam. Wiggle it down in that saddle. This has got a, a saddle right here. I'm trying to wiggle it down into that. All 
way. You need to come your way a little bit. Perfect. Too much. Go back. A little more. A little bit more. Perfect. More? One, one more tap. One more. Perfect. We're going to measure the very bottom of that beam on the outside. So this is the laser mount. Some of the lasers have a uh, like a place you can mount it screwed up to the wall with screws. This has metal. It, it'll hook up to you know anything ferrous metal. So I've got these straps, and I'm going to go ahead and put two of those up there on top, and use this where I can slide the level up and down. Put two screws on it. A couple of screws to hold it. There you go. Okay, can I get the, can you hand me the, the level two? This one. So what I'm doing here is I got this angle finder. I'm gonna use this to get the angle. So I just got that, the angle that I need. Love that sawdust, don't you? <laughs> How did she do? It did real good. If I, as long as you keep that, that line, both the teeth on both sides above the line and go across at an angle, you can come out really straight. Mm. Well, I mean like flat. Yeah. So it's, it's a really good looking cut. Both of them are. I mean, they're not perfect, but I'm pretty pleased with them. Running like a herd. You know, I'm not charged that one time. Huh? You did? I charged it when we first got it. I never charged it again. Oh. You use the stump grinder today, knock down that stump that Tanya wanted gone. We didn't go all the way down with the stump, but I tell you, it's, uh, it, it looks good. It's not sticking up here in the eyesore. And as we finish this bank off here, we said all this is gonna get dug out in the back the backyard, if you will, of the cabin. It's gonna be much bigger. Hey, one more thing I wanna address is these posts back here. Now, if you see right here, these are the posts that uh, are, these are just treated six by sixes. And we cut up some red cedar on the sawmill for those posts. But after my wife seen them, she's like, hey, they're a little bit too red and she don't want to use them there. So we'll use them somewhere else and guarantee that. But she wanted to go ahead and just use the, the same treated lumber that we have through the entire 
know, through the entire cabin here. And we're gonna come back and stain this uh, a gray. I don't have any say in that whatsoever. Uh, that's Tanya's realm of expertise. So we'll do whatever she wants to do. Listen, God bless, have a great day.